Today I want to talk about ridge lines. And I want to give you a quick tip or trick that will give you a quick release on both ends. Usually most people tie a ridge line using some variation of a trucker's hitch on one end, followed by some sort of loop, such as an overhand loop, or in this case a bowline, on the opposite end. For those that are familiar with the trucker's hitch, you already know the quick release is built in. Simply grab your cordage, give it a tug, and you're good to go. Now that end over there, nine times out of ten, you use some sort of loop, and that's gonna be a problem. Now this is the problem for me right here. It's pouring down rain. And I mentioned having a loop over here created from an overhand loop or even a bowline will cause the problem. Now for me, seconds count. And do I want to feed 100 feet of paracord or bank line through a loop while well, I'm getting soaked? Either putting the tarp up or taking it down. So what we want to do here is make a bad situation good. We're going to pull this line through here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Today we're dealing with 25 feet. It's not really a big deal. But you can imagine in a pouring rainstorm, feeding 100 feet through here is an easier way to do everything. What we want to do is go ahead and take our loop and our other end, we're going to pass it through the loop and it creates a small pocket. So all we're going to do is pass our line through our loop and it creates a pocket just like that. Now taking our improvised stake or even a real stake, I'm going to shove it inside there. Now you can pull it tight. Just like that. Take it to my opposite end and tie my trucker's hitch. I'm right-handed, so I'm taking my left hand, place it underneath my line. Now this line right here is attached to the opposite tree over on that end using our bowline and our stake. So I'm taking my left hand, palms up, grab my line, I'm gonna rotate it towards the tree. And that creates a loop. I'm gonna place that loop on top of my line, reach inside and pull it towards the tree. Just like that. Now my opposite end, I'm going to go ahead and pass through that loop. Just like that. And I'm going to pull it towards the tree. The more I pull, the tighter it's going to be. Now at this point right here, you have a loop and a line. Take my thumb, place it next to that loop. Index finger, and pinch them both together. Drape your cordage over, reach inside, pull it through. As I mentioned before, the trucker's hitch has a built-in quick release. Grab your end, give it a tug, it should drop to the ground. Now for that end. And for this end right here, simply grab your improvised stake or real stake. Pull it through, you're good to go.